Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to close DS4 Windows app. So if you have this app running, you can close it. So just check it. Here you can see DS4 Windows. If you have this running, make a right click and then click on exit. And once DS4 Windows is closed, you have to launch the game once again. So you have to close the game. If the game is running, close it and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to disable Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to controller tab. Now by default, use default settings will be selected over here. So you have to select disable Steam input. So click on it and select disable Steam input. Now you have to relaunch the game. You have to launch the game once again. Still not working, then go to properties once again and then go to controller tab and then this time you can try enable steam input. But for me, disabling steam input is working. So you can try both disable and enable and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So you can go to steam and then on the top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on it now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller so simply disconnect and reconnect the controller and then check if that does not work Unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, anything con con connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. If you have any kind of USB adapter, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect extra controller. Also, if you have multiple monitor setup, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller, then you can uninstall it or disable it and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to, now this is for PlayStation controller. If you are not using DS4, if you are using DS4, you can close it and then launch the game and then check. If you are not using DS4, you can install DS4 or REWSD and then configure your controller and then check. Now the last step is to use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can connect your controller using the USB cable and once it is connected, now you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.